What's up guys, welcome to Richie's Truck and Auto. Uh, what we're going to show you today is how to get some broken bolts out of any manifold. This particular one is an L5P that we're doing some EGR work on. But uh, GM uses these three shoulder triangular shaped bolts. It's, it's tough to see them in here in this in the video here. But if you kind of look at the edge, you can see where it was worn. Let me get one of the other ones. Kind of like this one here. You can see it's got sort of a triangle shape to it. This is only used on the L5Ps, but the LMLs and everything that precedes them also have a similar size bolt. Uh, I think it's a little bit larger. Uh, but anyway, they do get stuck in the, uh, in the manifolds, the up pipes, um, etc. And what happens, they snap off, and you need to get them out. In this particular case here, that is the passenger side manifold on this L5P. Um, three of the four bolts broke off. This is what they started off as. This is the one that came out that didn't break. And this is one of the other two that I had removed so far. So what I found to be the most effective way to get these out is to weld a, uh, a 3 8 nut on there. Uh, hopefully there's enough threads exposed that uh, when they do break off that you can weld a nut to. That's what this, uh, this MIG welder here is for. You weld the, uh, weld the nut to it and while it cools, spray it with some penetrating oil. Uh, and work the shoulders of the nut back and forth slightly. Do not force it because it'll snap off and you'll get this other one. Let me go down below. So if you break it off, it'll look like this. This is what the nut looks like when they snap off if you go too fast. This particular one fortunately had uh, enough room left over for me to, uh, to still grab it. This is what the broken one looked like. That's what's left of it. So what I've done is broke the 3 8 one off and then welded a 5 16 nut on there. The 5 16 uh, coarse thread is very close, not the same as, but very close as the, uh, the thread pitch that's on these bolts that are in the manifold. This one here is now cooling and I'm about to use a half inch wrench because it's a 5 16 not a 9 16 on this one here. And it should just start to come out. If you work it back and forth. I left the gasket there on purpose uh, so that the weld does not bond to the uh, to the manifold. The manifold is cast so it's not likely for it to bond but the uh, gasket is there to keep the surface of the manifold uh, free of any pitting or any kind of fusion that may occur with the slag or anything like that. So that's what the gasket's still there for. Uh, we're going to replace the gasket, obviously, right? We're using this one. It's just about ready to come out. Let me switch hands here. Now the weld grew over the side of the shoulder here, so it's... coming out. Yep, here it comes. This is the last of the three that snapped. It's almost there. Patience is key here. If you try to take it out while it's still hot, the expanded bolt in the uh, unexpanded manifolds will bind up even harder than it was when it starts to cool. But what I use here is some penetrating oil and you just keep spraying it in there as you're working it back and forth. So as you spray it, you grab it and you go back and forth like this. You're only going to get a little bit of movement then it'll start freeing up more and more. But eventually it starts to turn and this has worked on the other two that preceded this as well as other ones that I've done in the past and they come out. These bolts have a tendency to break because of that uh, triangle shoulder design. They're not very strong at all and they uh, they freeze up. They seize up inside of the thread bores. There we go. And that's it. Another one extracted. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Good luck. 